just like my first stop of today's city adventure is Brunetti's I've been going here for years it's just the best place for coffee and a sweet treat and you can sit outside you can sit inside there's just heaps of space so I absolutely love coming here so this was such a beautiful way to start my morning so enjoy my little montage of me drinking my coffee had an Interretro star which is a thrift store here in Melbourne it's in the city center very close to Brunetti's did not end up buying anything I do come here often and if I'm being completely honest the prices are just not it like I thought this bag was so cute for travel however like $50 yeah no I'm not gonna spend that at a thrift store but and it was still cool to like look around and see all the different brands This looks like the dodgiest elevator ever. I'm kind of scared. Don't really know what I'm going. This was me trying to find the other venture store that is meant to be on top of Retro Star, but apparently it was, uh, yeah, closed. I was so embarrassed and the store wasn't actually open. So me and a couple of girls were just like standing outside, like where the fuck do we go? But it's all good, I can come back at 11. This is one of my favorite stores in the city. It's just a little flower shop. I don't really buy anything, but it's just so peaceful in here and so nice to look around. I always come in here and like make videos or take photos and annoy the staff. But yeah, it's such a cute store. If you haven't been here already, it's on Flinders Lane. If you're looking for flowers for a nice occasion, a special birthday, I definitely recommend this place. Surprisingly, I've never tried a Loon Passant, even though I've been living in Melbourne for 21 years, but I thought I would give it a go, I had some time to spare. I got to the counter and sort of panicked and ended up just getting like, whatever basic croissant. Ah. First ever buy of the Loon Croissant. Let's see if the hype is actually worth it. Hmm. I mean, it's good. I just don't know if it's actually worth lining up that long. I feel like I could have just gotten one from Brunetti's or literally anywhere else. But I mean, it's good. It's very smooth. I just find that on this particular croissant, I got the I can't pronounce this word. Pano, pano, I can't. I'm gonna put it on the screen, but um, it's just there's a lot of like crusty. What do you call it? Like crusty pastry on the top that literally just went all over me. It's also very like windy out here, so it just flew like all over me, and I've literally got it all over my jeans. But that's fine. Other than that, it's okay. The chocolate inside is also. I mean, it's pretty generic, it's pretty basic, but I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a nice little sweet treat for today. I'm like kind of disappointed by that croissant, I'm not gonna lie. I think it was being too nice in my review, but like I was expecting so much more and it was kind of pricey. Actually, I don't even know how much I paid. I think I paid close to $8, which is a lot in my eyes for just a little sweet treat. It's just a croissant, so I don't know. I was expecting a lot more. And this is why you don't follow trends and hypes. I had to pause recording because um, I just had a man just like walk up to me and then not actually say anything to me. And he's just walked off. But yeah, not going to lie. I'm just currently sitting at a park, just people watching and eating my croissant. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm recording. People just feel like they can come up to me, but no, you cannot. Um, or maybe people are just weird and they are lonely and they want to talk to somebody. But just don't talk to me, please. I'm scared. I feel like, I mean, I'm in my mid-20s, but I'm still 
so scared of being kidnapped like i don't think i will get kidnapped i'm fine i'm literally just sitting in a park full of people but i think that fear will always sit in me i mean i guess that's just being a woman but yeah so i never actually said this but the reason why i'm even in the city is because my mom has to do something with her like visa or whatever so she's here for her appointment and it's literally taken like she's still waiting to be called in and we've been here for two hours but while she was in there i was like i'm gonna go walk off and like go on my own rendezvous um i feel like i'm obsessed with traveling and i love walking around but in my own city i barely ever do anything like that like i'm anytime i'm back home in melbourne i just want to like sit at home and like do the same two things which is watch tv cook go to the gym and i don't want to do anything else and even today like i really really don't want to go out but i was like i just have to i just have to do it. i've got to help my mom my mom's like not that great with like walking around in the city she's she will get lost um so i had to be here with her um but yeah but i mean i i got to vlog and i haven't vlogged in so long so I mean, that's nice, right? But I'm feeling a bit restless. I also feel like a weird energy here. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of that guy, but I'm getting some weird vibes. So I think I might change location. I've already done like 4,000 steps for the day. Like I've walked so much, but yeah, let's see where I end up next. Guys, I've been wearing this outfit all day long and it's safe to say these pants don't actually fit me anymore and I've literally been carrying them up all day and I've just realized you can actually see the line of my underwear um, which is really embarrassing but good thing I was wearing a big ass coat but yeah maybe it's time to buy some new jeans. Off we go. Unfortunately, today's one of those days where I really can't be bothered going to the gym. However, I will force myself to because I have to. I don't have a choice. Um, why is my hair so freaking messy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I've just had such a long day already just in the city and I feel so drained by being in public. But yeah, I don't know. I really can't be bothered. But I just know that as soon as I get in there... It's just going to be a completely different Mandy, so I just have to push through and drive myself there. Um, yeah, let's go. I definitely will not be recording in there because I, yeah, we're not at that level yet. Like, I can barely walk in there without, like, crying, so will not be recording that. But I will see you after my workout. Apologies for the very awkward angle, but I've just finished up with the gym and my god, that was Such a painful session today. I don't think I you could tell by my face, but Bloody hell. I absolutely hate this angle because you can see my double chin. <laughs> Let me just change it Anyways, what I was saying absolutely fucking exhausted. I don't know if I'm potentially not eating enough like I've only recently started lifting weights so maybe my body throughout the day is like it's building more muscle it's um repairing my muscles so it's taking up more energy therefore burning more calories sorry if 
like calories and all that is like a triggering topic for you and you're listening to this please skip um but potentially i'm burning too many calories more than usual and i'm not potentially eating enough so i think i need to eat more because i was just so dead like i literally could not perform today i usually do like 30 to 40 minutes on the stairmaster like in one go which is insane and i usually have a lot of like endurance in me but today i literally did like five squats and i was like i can't do i can't do anything else i literally felt dizzy but my gym just gave me like a free fiber one so this is exactly what i needed right now because it's not home time yet i do need to still get some groceries so i can meal prep for the rest of the week but hopefully this little fiber one puts me through oh my god my skin looks so like awful in this lighting i need to go i i will see you at the grocery store um, since when does chocolate almond milk exist and since when does high protein almond milk exist what the heck my favorite hello hello i am back home i've showered i've washed my hair i'm literally in my pjs at 5 p.m um, I've had a day. I've had a very, very long day, as you have seen. Um, basically, went grocery shopping, and then I didn't film this, but I had a quick dinner. I bought some honey chicken and some vegetables. Um, and yeah, that was my dinner. But now I'm going to have some of this twisted um, protein ice cream. Um, I hope it's good. I've never had this before. I've just been craving like it's such a warm day in Melbourne today. Here I am wearing a gown, but it's a very warm day. Don't mind my sister screaming in the background. <laughs> she's she's gaming currently and she literally sleeps right above this. Sorry about that, my sister screaming and now you are wonky. Okay, that's better. Um but yeah, 28 grams of protein in the entire thing and only 280 calories in the whole tub which is insane so i hope it does taste good i mean it looks good i hope it tastes good as well you know when you buy something like healthy and then you eat it and you're like yeah no this is not ice cream no let's give it a go mm. yeah it's not bad Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to finish the whole tub, but... Oh my god, can my sister stop screaming? Anyways, I probably won't finish the whole tub, but honestly, give it a go. Maybe you'll like it. But for the rest of today, I am just going to eat this ice cream and watch some YouTube or maybe watch some Netflix. I'm absolutely knackered.